السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا وقرة أعيننا محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الله عز وجل says in سورة البقرة ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه that book wherein there is absolutely no doubt Allah Azza wa Jal here of course is talking about Al-Quran and refers to the Quran as Al-Kitab that which is written or etched a book subhanAllah but what is interesting here is that Allah Azza wa Jal says ذَلِكَ which means that and that is used for something that is in a far off distance something that's not close in Arabic, you have hadha, which means this, and that's for something near. And you have dhalika, which means that, which is for something far away or not close. So why is Allah Azza wa Jal here in this ayah saying the Qur'an is not close? When we know the Qur'an is with us here, we recite it all the time. Well, Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to the Qur'an being protected in the preserved tablet. Al-Loh al-Mahfuz. So what is Al-Loh al-Mahfuz? Well, when Allah Azza wa Jal created the pen, He said, Uktub, write. Maqadir kulli shay. The destinies or the decrees of everything that will ever happen and occur in the universe from the beginning of time until the end of time. SubhanAllah. And contained in Al-Loh al-Mahfuz is the Qur'an. SubhanAllah. So Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to the Qur'an in the Loh al-Mahfuz here. And then he sent it down to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and revealed it to him. Allahu Akbar. So throughout the entire Qur'an, when Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the word Qur'an, he never mentions it as something far away. When he uses the specific name Qur'an, if he uses a demonstrative pronoun, meaning saying this or that, he always refers to the Qur'an as something close. Had al-Qur'an. And why is that? Well, al-Qur'an means an abundant recital, something that is recited and read a lot. And it comes from the verb qara'a, which means to read. And when you read something, is it near or far? Of course, it's near. SubhanAllah. So it wouldn't make sense for a lot. Azza wa Jal to ever say ذلك Quran, that Quran, meaning something far away. Because when you read something, it is close, it's nearby. So if Allah Azza wa Jal ever used a demonstrative pronoun in the Quran, when the Quran is being mentioned, he would say هذا Quran, subhanAllah. Look at the accuracy of the Quran, subhanAllah. So this is why Allah Azza wa Jal said ذلك Kitab, that book, wherein there is absolutely no doubt. Because it comes to our mind, why would Allah Azza wa Jal refer to something like the Qur'an that's with us here as being far away, subhanAllah. And also the scholars have mentioned that when you, the scholars of the Arabic language, when you mention or refer to something as far away, it's a way of honoring that thing and raising and elevating that, the status of that thing you're talking about, subhanAllah. And Allah Azza wa Jal is saying, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِي That book wherein there is no doubt. That book that is high and honored and far off and far removed from any dis, uh, distortion or corruption or any changes. Allahu Akbar. The Qur'an is preserved and protected in Al-Loh Al-Mahfuz. And it's also preserved and protected in this world as well. SubhanAllah. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wassalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.